The streets were dark as always at this late hour. The silence was broken by a seldom passing traveler rugged up safely in a car on their way to who knows where. It was when Lance Sr. the necromancer stalked his victim. A unique miscreant, a serial killer, had been preying on the few brave souls who dared venture into the abyss of the night. Lance had been on the hunt for him for over a month, with no luck finding his prey. He'd been close to catching him a few times to no avail, but tonight was different, he felt it in his bones. He heard a noise behind him. As he spun around he beheld the sight of a fox staring back at him, a cunning creature of the night just like himself. Without a doubt it was traversing the streets in search of its next prey, he pondered. In this calm, cool, clear moonlit spring night, he playfully pretended to be a solitary wanderer, cleverly disguising himself as he moved near the soft, protective glow of the streetlights. He nervously wandered on his way, knowing the risk he took was great. His footsteps sounded loud in the silence of the night as he strode on the path. Knowing he was flirting with death with every step he took, made even him a grim reaper in human form, nervous and feel slightly sick. He longed for and dreaded being found by the killer at the same time. He'd wasted many a day playing bait for the killer, only to find nothing. He was starting to think he wouldn't find him, when suddenly he heard a noise behind him. It was the breaking of a twig on the ground behind him. Lance turned around and saw a man in black wearing a balaclava, carrying a knife. Don't move or make any noise. Lance did as he said. He was panicking and calculating what to do next. Lance put his hands up silently. Come with me. Lance surmised this was the man he was hunting. He looked at the knife and did as he said. Lance was led by the killer to a nearby park. Lance supposed he wanted to dispose of his body there. He thought it would be a good place to kill and hide the body of a victim as no one was in the area to hear or see you slay your victim. What are you doing on the street at this late hour? I, I was walking in the night, I thought it was safe. Acting like an innocent wayfarer just out for a stroll in the night. He was lying, he was a hunter, a killer like the one threatening him now, a killer who killed only the very evil, like his captor. He was only playing possum. Please don't hurt me, I won't scream if you let me go. The man in the balaclava was enjoying and feeding off Lance's fear. He smiled. Nervousness could be seen in Lance's demeanor. He knew his prey was about to strike. Lance let him go in for the kill. Lance effortlessly disarmed his opponent. The prey was shocked and astonished. Lance's victim stared at him in complete astonishment. Who are you? A sly smile curled on Lance's face. The Necromancer. Lance's victim realized he was caught in a trap set by the necromancer. Lance reached out and snapped the neck of his prey with ease while he was registering what happened. While Lance was still in human form, he visited his dad Blake, the king of the Grim Reapers. How was your night? Rather boring. Lance didn't want to say he was nearly killed, and he killed a man. His dad would only tease him over it when in walked Dante, Blake's office assistant, who was in Reaper form with more paperwork. What's the date, Dante? Devil's Night, October 30th. Lance has his own night, does he? I'm not the devil! You are the closest thing to the devil there is. Lance frowned. Did you kill anyone tonight? Yes, shouted back the insulted Lance. It was Devil's Night. Ha ha ha! Said Lance, unamused. 